Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the living God.
let's just go ahead and just hail him this morning. Hail him this morning. Hail him this morning. Hail him this morning. No one like unto him. None, none. From north to south, from east to west. The Bible says from the rising of the sun and unto the going down of the sun, the name of the Lord shall be praised. The name of Jesus shall be praised because he's great. He's greatly to be praised in the city and the mount of his holiness. Beautiful for situation. The joy of the whole world. The joy of the whole world. The joy of the Israel of nations assembly. Link of all seats out of my earth. No like unto you, Lord. No like unto you, Lord. No like unto you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you are the most high God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How many of us remember the scripture that says, wherever the sole of your feet shall tread upon, wherever the sole of your feet shall tread upon, the Bible says the Lord has done what? The Lord has given unto you as a possession. The Lord has given unto you and I, United Kingdom, for our possession. The Lord has given unto you and I, the city of Leicester, as our possession. And to confirm that, I'm reading, I'm reading unto us this morning from Genesis chapter 26, and I'm going to read from verse 12. Genesis chapter 26 from verse 12. The Bible says, Then Isaac sold in that land. Some of us, we are still sowing. Some of us, we were already sown already. Your school fees, the expenses, you already invested. Money, somebody is checking ahead. You already invested thousands of pounds into this land. And the Bible says, I received in the same year an hundred fold. And the Lord blessed. And the Lord blessed. Somebody said, And the Lord bless me. And the Lord bless me in this land. And we saw, and we reap in hundred four, in thousand four, in thousand four. I will not let my pay. I will not let my pay in this land. I will not struggle. I will not struggle. Every effort we give for me. Because of what God will do in your life and 
in my life this season will become the enviable person. And wherever we go, you'll become the enviable man and woman and student. Wherever you go, in the name of Jesus, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the land of the United Kingdom, increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. According to your word, increase my greatness. In the name of Jesus, mark our second day. I will not be the same day. In the name of Jesus, I am called to Zion this morning. The Bible says they go from strain to strain. Everyone of them appearing before the Lord in Zion. I go forward. I go forward. I become the great. I become the great. I become the great. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Some of us may not understand prayers. Some people will be big men and women in Africa. And then they get to UK. After some few months or few years, they'll just realize it. They're going down. One step down. One step down until it become down, 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 down. And then the people are told, after 25 years, they ask, where is this our brother? We have not been hearing from him. That will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus, I said, that will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare from glory to glory, from glory to glory, from glory to glory, Keep rising, keep rising, keep rising, keep rising in the name of Jesus. For some of us, they've already filled your heart that things are difficult in UK. It is not easy to settle down, but I tell you, there are some of us, we have enjoyed the favor of God, we've enjoyed the mercy of God. What is important is the God partner. Whatever you do in United Kingdom, make sure the God Father is always there. Because as much as UK is a great pasture, it's also a land of slavery. What did I say? It is also a land of slavery. That's why some people will walk seven days a week. Ask them. Even offer they cannot give. Thanks they cannot give. They cannot even, you cannot even look at their life and say, ah, my brother, I can see God is a view. That will not be the portion of any member of this family in the name of Jesus Christ. My last prayer, Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 26, that scripture just came to my mind. The Bible says, thou shalt hear a voice. Thou shalt hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. This is the way. What is daring it? This is the way to go. Some of us, maybe you are confused now. You just landed. You are like, where I am? What is happening to me? Where do I go next? What should I go next? The word of the Lord says, you will hear the word. Say, Lord, I receive your word. I receive your word. Word of direction. Word of direction. This week, I will know what to do. I will know where to go. I will not be confused. I will not meet the next stage of my destiny. In the name of Jesus, let's go ahead and begin to receive his word. Father, I'm open, oh God, to your instruction. I'm open to your word. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to me, Lord.
He said, so shall my world be. It will not return to me void. As we are praying according to the word of the Lord this morning, receive your own portion of the blessing of the United Kingdom. Receive your own portion in the name of Jesus. You will not miss out of God's plan and purpose for your life, your family, your career, your business, your ministry. In the name of Jesus, in the land of United Kingdom, you will be fulfilled. You will be fulfilled. You will be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus, in the book of those that God has settled in United Kingdom, be enlisted. Be enlisted. In the name of Jesus, you are counted among those that are making progress, those that are advancing in this land to the glory of God, to the glory of God, to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Come on, let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands to him. The world maker, miracle walking God, covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. Please, let's be seated in his presence. Where is the miracle walker? God may sleep a night in the dark. God is here. Hallelujah. 
Maybe they have told you that you can't make it to university. Maybe they have told you that coming to United Kingdom is going to be a struggle. And situation and circumstances around you begin to point in that direction. And you are beginning to believe. Who told you what you are basing your life on? Whose voice are you hearing this morning? Whose voice are you hearing? Whose voice are you hearing? God wants to get across to Hadar. I know you are hearing a different voice. Why? Because I know I do visit you on a regular basis and any time I come to you, we have fellowship together. Now that you are hiding from you, from me, I know something got across to you. Whose voice are you hearing? Listen to him, flow of God. You better keep on hearing the voice of God and keep on yielding to him. Why? Because there's another voice And speaking to somebody here, you are fast losing your hope and your trust in God based on what you are hearing. And God is saying, you better return. You better return. Why? Because I've not created you to survive. I've created you to thrive. Hallelujah. I've not created you to join the rat race. Remember, you were a king and a priest to me. And I've ordained you to reign here on voice are you hearing and yielding to him? I'd like you to join your faith with your neighbor this afternoon. You want to pray. How many of you are tired of praying? Listen to the people of God. The church of God started in the upper room. Men agonizing. It's not by accident that we find ourselves in the upper room. Hallelujah. You are going to agree with your neighbor. We are going to speak over his or our life. Every voice, every negative voice that is contending with God's intention, with God's mind, with God's purpose for you, I silence them in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Silence every negative voice. Every negative voice of reasoning. Every voice that is telling you success is not for you. Every voice that is telling Breakthrough is not for you. Every voice that keeps on telling you it's not you that they are looking for. Silence those voices. Break a man on the coast as he had a higher canoe. Lay Gana Mania Maka says, So Talabaka to live a higher Gataya. So break a Maku Tele and Bokaya Katata Talabahaskataya. So break it together, get a get a get a get a get Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are still going to agree with somebody. Has it occurred to you, right, that you want to do something and that voice comes to you? Who told you you qualified for this? Have you considered it? And you thought about it? I just came. Maybe they are not going to take me. Hallelujah. They are not destined to be doing factory job. Hallelujah. Whose voice are you hearing? Those people that are I mean, hanging high, they don't have to hear than you. It's only that you are, you are heeding to a negative voice. Hallelujah. Who told you, sir, that you have to struggle before you make it to the United Kingdom? Who told you? Hallelujah. Who told you, man, that you need to know somebody before you can be favored in the United Kingdom? Who told you? Who told you? I remember when we first came in, we would find ourselves in Scotland then, and my wife would always apply to cancel, you know, this 
administrative job, you know, working with the council. And those that we met, we always tell her, you are not meant to, it's not meant for you. They won't even attend to you. He kept on applying. Why? Because he believed God. They got it at the end of the day. Whose voice are you listening to? They are telling you that job you want to apply for is not for you. Why? Because they won't even consider you. And you think about it and say, and it's true. Hallelujah. Who told you that you need to live in a shared accommodation? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? Hallelujah. Who said that the office job is not for you? Who told you? Many of us, we are not believing God again. Those who know they are God, they shall be what? Strong. And they shall do what? Exploit. Do you know your God? The reason why you are struggling is simply because you have not come to the understanding of the God that you believe. Who told you about what you are reacting to? I'd like you to pray for somebody again. I'd like you to declare every negative voice that is contending with your destiny. Every negative voice that keeps on telling you that you can't make it. That you can't become all God has called you to be. Come against them in the name of Jesus. If your neighbor is not praying for you, you are free to look for another person that will pray for you with all their heart. name we pray. I've got the mandate to announce to somebody here take a booster towards the realization of God's plan and dream for you in the United Kingdom. Hallelujah. Go forth, write that exam, that qualifying exam. Hallelujah. Do the unthinkable be all who God has called you to be. You hold no man any apology to such. Hallelujah. Maybe you have been rationing in law. If I succeed now, they will be thinking, but I just came in. You better succeed. Hallelujah. You better what? And that is who God has called you to be. Lift up your two hands to him and just give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. I am Mania Kozia Manania Kazita Rabahasitaya. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I hear God say, Not one, not two, not three of you. He said, You will find yourself in your dream job. In fact, there's a particular person here. In a few months' time, a decision will be taken about you. The, even though naturally you don't qualify for it, but God said he already qualified you. There's a particular woman here. When you are coming this morning, you are just thinking within your heart of heart. I hope I will be able to survive there. God said, you will not just survive, you will try. Said you will try. Said you will try. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to go to some people and just congratulate them. Step out in faith. Do the unthinkable.
Thank you, Lord. Let's be seated in heavenly high places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Before I go into what God has for us this morning, I'd like to welcome you to the gathering of the great and strong people ready to do good work. I'd like to welcome you to the glory place where God is. By the grace of God, we are one of the many expressions of the redeemed Christian Church of God, the city of Leicester. By the grace of God, in this particular house, we have a peculiar mandate. That is to raise a people great and strong, ready to do good work. By the grace of God, we are more than this. Hallelujah. This church is an apostolic governing church in the city. Hallelujah. As big as we are, God is helping us in our own little way to shape the destiny of the city by the grace of God. Like I used to tell them humorously, I said, the time is going to come in this city. The mayor, we have no other place to go other than here. Why? Because we are people of influence in the mighty name of Jesus. So it's a privilege for you to find yourself here. The midst of the people great and strong, ready to do good works. It's my prayer that this land will cooperate with your destiny. Amen. Everything that God ordained you to be, you will become. Amen. And much more. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And so on behalf of the general of Asia, Pastor Oye Adeboye, on behalf of the country of Asia, Pastor Ndeke Sanusi, we want to welcome you to our CCG Desire of Nations Assembly. The gathering of the people great and strong. This is the glory place. And it is my prayer that the end point of your life will be glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do we have people worshipping with us for the very first time in the house today? Anybody? Today is your first time in Desire of Nation. Hallelujah. We've got them around. Please let's welcome them. Let's welcome them. Welcome to your father's house. Please rise up to your feet. Let's recognize you. Let's welcome you to God's presence. Yes, we love you. Yes, we love you. Can see. We can see all over you, the glory of the Lord. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, truly we want to say we love you. We want to say we appreciate you. We want to say we celebrate you. Here we don't count people. We celebrate people. Hallelujah. So you are not just part of the number. You are unique. You are blessed and we honor you. And it is our prayer that the time you'll be spending with us in the United, United Kingdom in Deserve Nations, you will know it for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the time you'll be returning from this place, you are returning with your testimonies. When you are coming back here, you are sharing those testimonies to the glory of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. So once like this, we welcome you as a guest, but after now you are a member by the grace of God. If God will open your eyes and for us, we've got many bedrooms here. Yeah, feel free. Just enter into any more. Feel at home. Father's house. Hallelujah. Say, this is my father's house. Even though somebody invited you, for you to be here today is ordained by God. And I want you to tie your being here today to one thing that you believe by trusting God to do for you this week. And as you return, come and share the word. In the mighty name of Jesus. So please, I wouldn't want you to rush away after the service. I would love to meet you personally. Just to share with you what God is doing. Welcome you formally. If you are going to oblige me by the grace of God, I would love to meet you personally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are going to do that for me? You want me to be your pastor? Hallelujah. God bless you, Ruby. I love to be by the grace of God. And by the grace of God, as we work together in this journey, it shall be great. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Please, we are going to see briefly after the service. Glory of God. God bless you. Please have your seat. Next week, Sunday is our Thanksgiving Sunday. By the grace of God, we'll be entering into the month of November. Aren't God be good to you? Remember, it's not everybody that started this year that is still alive. Not everybody that shouted, Happy New Year! Still here. Not everybody that woke up this morning. My prayer is that God is going to prepare your life beyond them. In the mighty name of Jesus. That the rest of the year for you will be the best. In the mighty name of Jesus. So next week Sunday, I'd like you to come with your dancing shoes. Because if you have a dancing shoes, come with your head gear like satellite dish. Hallelujah. Make sure that that satellite dish is not blocking the view of your neighbor. Amen. And most importantly, if you have been with us in the last month, desire of nation, I want to host you specially. A party, by the grace of God, your welcoming party, especially into the family, next Sunday, by the grace of God. So please, as many of you that have been part of this family in the last month, I want to want to celebrate you special. What you are going to do for us is that, you know, come, you know, come as seen, come, come prepared. Not just to come and hear. There will be information, vital information that will be passed across to you that will engender your success in this land in the mighty name of Jesus. And please, I want to encourage every one of us, you know, let's, let's be the abinga of the good news. If God has been good to you, tell somebody about it. Hallelujah. If God has been what? Tell somebody about it. So we are going to launch something called Be My One. As from today. I'm going to look for somebody that is going to be your hand you. I'm going to invite them to come. Hallelujah. How many of you are going to do that? We are trusting God and we are believing God that in between uh, months from now, this church will not be able to do it. We want to be running multiple services. How many of you believe it's possible? Say God is going to use you. That is why you need to prepare. Pray, plan, and prepare. Make sure you are telling somebody and compel them to come. God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. That God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, we've got various departments in church. As many of all of you that are just joining us. Grace of God, many of you are good. But I can see, I can see signs on you. So some of you, you can sing, and heaven, heaven will come down. Need you there. Hallelujah. Some of you, when you stand at that door and you smile, every heart will melt. Need you. Not showing the family. Many of you, when you give somebody a handshake, electricity will flow. Hallelujah. We need you in protocol. And many of you, when you stand to pray, the devil is running. We need you in prayer. In other words, what we are saying in essence is that now that you are part of the family, one way that God is going to bless you and keep on blessing you is to make your life a seed by serving. Hallelujah. Don't come to church to come and warm you. Be serving. Jesus Christ said, He said, The Son of Man has not come or to be ministered unto. Said, but what? To serve and to give his life. The ransom to many. Little wonder. God had highly exalted him. Gave him a name that is above every other name. Now, the mentioning of that name of Jesus, every name. Jesus walked his way there by serving. Now you call that name and that name works for you. If that name is going to sustain you, you need to be in serving. So I'm sending us a notice now. You are welcome to join any department of God. By the grace of God. Even if you are not uh, gifted there, by the grace of God, God put you in the house that is going to train you to be your best. By the grace of God, this church is a sending church. By the grace of God, we believe in the dignity of human service. Hallelujah. There is a gift that God has given to you that will be a blessing to you. Deprive me. It's only one lifetime that I have. 
Hallelujah. Just one lifetime that you use your gift to the glory of God. Don't you want to leave a place and they miss you? Hallelujah. Don't go through a place and your impact is not felt. The Bible says you are the light. I've started preaching already, so don't, don't expect me. I've started preaching. The Bible says you are the what? You are the light of the world. Why dim in your light? Hallelujah. He said you are what? The salt of the earth. Why are you depriving people from influencing? I mean, from you influencing them to be all God has called you to be. Hallelujah. Don't be a part of a child that doesn't encourage you to serve. Serving is living. Hallelujah. Don't just exist. Begin to live. Begin to what? And living is expressed in what? Give God the opportunity to keep on blessing you. Hallelujah. Give God what? Opportunity. So don't say, I'm going to think about it. Those of you that knows how to sing, heaven is going to come down. God needs you there. If God has opened your eyes to any need in this church, because God knows. Let's do it. Glory of God. Withhold not, with not anything. Power of God. They that honor me, I They that despise me. vessel that God can hang on in the mighty name of Jesus. None of us will be a failure in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, it's not my business, it's our Father's business. The way we do it matters. Hallelujah. God has brought you and you are here today only because this is where God wants you. Don't be people that are still shopping for church in Hallelujah. I know some of some people now, you are still looking. Let me come and see if their praise worship is sound. Eh? You are the judge. You are judging. You are judging to see, okay, oh, that church on the other side is better. Where do you go? Do your own part and uh, do it well. Let it be recorded of you. When God says it's the right time for you to move on, say, who is that sister that used to sit here? Where is she now? Everybody say, oh, John, a better place. Said, oh. Not that. Where is that sister that used to see her? She's no longer here. And that will not be your portion. Make yourself as value added. That is why you are here. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, in our only place as a church, God and equip us to be all God has called us to be. Listen to evil of God. God doesn't waste He has blessed you for the purpose. Calling us for purpose. Yeah, don't mind us. Hallelujah. God is going to bless us in Jesus' name. First Corinthians chapter, second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, as we look into God's word briefly. There's somebody here, you are about to experience a change. A change. A change. I'm bringing you God's word from glory to glory. That is going to be your portion, your lot. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 3. If they are there, say amen. And not there like me, say, oh me. Or I told me people we are waiting for you. Second Corinthians chapter what? 3. And please, don't get to Habakkuk and begin to smile. Because I might call you to read. Hallelujah. Make sure you are there. Make sure you are there. It's good for us to flip open our Bible or turn our, your iPad. So anyhow, anyhow, let's just be there. We are going to read together from verse 4. And such trust have we through Christ to God's word. 
Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Who hath made us, what? Able ministers of the New Testament. Not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter killeth, for the spirit giveth life. But if the ministration of the dead, written and engraving in stone was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. How shall not the creation of the world rather For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more does the ministration of righteousness exceed glory. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excelleth. For if that which is done away was glorious, much more that which remaineth is glorious. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great thinness of speech, not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, but the children of Israel not step fully look to the hand of that which is abolished. Their minds were blinded. Until this day, they made the same veil on taking away in the reading of the whole testament, which veil is gone away in Christ. Even unto this day, when Moses read the veil, gone. Nevertheless, when it shall come to pass, fail shall taken Now the Lord is that spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed to the same image. Glory, glory, even as by Spirit. God anoint me. Let it bring grace to my hearer. Brevity of time that we have together, let your word remain alive in us. Let this word bring us from one level of glory to the other. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because somebody here will experience change. Glorious changes to the glory of your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Everything on earth is subject to change. How many of you believe that? Everything on earth is constantly changing. The only one that can change is God. But it changes situation. It changes people. It changes circumstances. And God, in a time, experiences his own change. The Bible made us to understand that the heart and the heaven that he created in the book of Genesis was without form and void. Everywhere was his bed. But God didn't stay there. The Bible says he commanded Cain, let there be light. And what happened? There was light. Jesus Christ, your Lord and Master, my Lord and Master, experienced change in his life. Long before that change came, they referred to him as the Campbell's son. For the moment the change came, the Bible says his fame spread abroad. Jesus saying to you and to me, said, as the Father has sent me, so am I sending you. In other words, if God experienced change, if I experience change, you must experience the same. And the Bible made us to understand here concerning the people of God. The Bible says they couldn't experience the change that they desire simply because a veil was covering. 
said, never the Lord. Come, let them fail. So quickly this morning, I want to share with us proving steps that has worked in my own life and I know definitely it's going to work. Many that will believe it. Hallelujah. I'll be taking us through briefly. I'm going to rush through this. Steps to glorious changes. If you and I, we experience change, glorious change, what are the things that needs to be in place for those things to be effective? Remember, those who refuse to be changed will be what? So you better align yourself to change God is doing in your life. What are those steps? Step, but we all open face, holding us in the glass, the glory of the Lord. I change from one, uh, from, uh, from, I change in the same image from what? Glory to glory, even as by the Lord. The first thing I want to share with us, people of God, if you are nigh, if you are going to experience change, glorious change that God wants you and I to experience, it has to be and all. It has to be what? And we all talk about unity. And we all talk about love. Nobody succeeds in isolation. No one tree makes a forest. Hallelujah. If you are going to experience change, glorious change, you must learn to be part of the body. The Bible says where there is unity, that there, God what? Commands the blessing, life forevermore. So, if we are going to experience the change that heaven has ordained us to experience, we all must be in agreement. Can two work together except there is an agreement? The reason why husband and wife will not experience change is simply because one is going in this direction, the other is going in this direction. They are not working in agreement. Even God says, for me to walk in your life. Say, come, let us walk, reason together. Hallelujah. God didn't isolate the Holy Spirit. God didn't isolate Jesus. He called the meeting of the Trinity. Let us. What? If you are going to experience change, if I'm going to experience change, unity is a must. And unity is a function of love. That is why I want to encourage you to make love the greatest. Make love what? We must be in agreement with the needed change for us to experience it. For we all means a state of unity and accord, a state of agreement. In agreeing, therefore, love is a crucial factor. When our passion, our devotion, and love for change is in place, God can deny us. Psalm 133. Psalm 133. That is a pleasant thing for, for brethren to be together in what? Unity. Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 1, it said they were in one accord. If you are going to experience change, love must be the foundation. Don't do anything without loving. Hallelujah. In fact, the proof that you are going to do it is because you love it. Amen. That's number one. Number two. If you and I, we are going to experience change, Love is not enough. Being together in agreement is not enough. Coming together in one accord is not enough. Number two, he said, and we all with unveiled 
face. Unveiled face. When a face is veiled, you can't see clearly. Hallelujah. But when a veil is taken off, you can see clearly. Listen to people of God. If you are going to experience change, glorious change that God has ordained for you, you have to be sincere with yourself. Not just with yourself. You have to be sincere with the people that you are in agreement with. Don't live a life of hypocrisy. Hallelujah. Don't feign what you are not. Be sincere. And be genuinely sincere. Hallelujah. Don't play anky panky with God. God is too big for you to, you know, to be playing games with him. I remember there was a time I, while I was growing up in my house, back home in one country that God delivered me from. Hallelujah. My wife is still, uh, praise the name of the Lord. You know, she loves the country. I was watching TV. Don't make mess of life. Don't, 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 don't laugh at me. And I saw that uh, this little mice now, right? I sat there in my throne. I was watching television. And I saw that mice. Just running around. And my thought is, this thing thought is uh, smart now. So I took a stick. I wanted to go and kill it. And the thing was running around. There's a lesson I want to teach in it. So it went, there's this uh, thing in Nigeria called stabilizer. How many of you know stabilizer? So the thing now uh, was behind the stabilizer. And it thought it was safe. And me, I want to kill it. So I went behind the stabilizer and I looked at it and I was smiling. Obviously, it thought I took the stick now. Hit it once. Ah! It didn't run. Then begin to do grabs. Died. And I went down to see. That thought came to me. That just as you have done to that rat, that you know I can do that. Why? Because you are playing anky panky with me. That day, I became born again. That you, see, you don't play games with God, except God is not interested in taking you. That is why you have to be sincere with God. Listen to me. If you are not living right, be bold enough to come to God that God, you know, be merciful unto me, a sinner. And don't come to church and be living. No, you are not sincere with God. Hallelujah. Sincerity. With God and with one another. There's no point massaging my ego. Huh? When you know I'm not living right. You better tell me the way it is. So that I can be in God's good. I better tell you the way it is. So that the two of us can be better for us. Hypocrisy. God hates hypocrisy. He said that is why I said because you are neither here or there. He said I will spill you out of my mouth. Sincere. If you are going to experience the glorious thing that God wants you to experience, sincerity is a must. Hallelujah. You know, many believers now, we, we, we are not sincere. We are not honest. Hallelujah. You say, I'm going to do this. You are saying, but you said you are going to do this. He uh, said, I don't mean it. He said, do not say to an angel, it was a Hallelujah. Let your yes be yes and your no be what are we saying in essence? As believers, we have to be sincere. If you know you are not going to make it, say I am not going to make it. I'm sorry than to say I will do it. And you are not doing it. God will be thinking, he will be sitting in heaven just like I was holding my stick. If I knock your head now, say I'm leaving. Don't play games with God. Hallelujah. Don't play games with God. Don't play games with God. Don't play games with God. Let your sincerity be seen by all. And we all with unveiled face. Number one is what? Number one is what? Unity. Love. Number two is what? Sincerity. Number three, unveiled face. <laughs> sincerity. Number three. That and we all with unveiled face beholding us in a glass the glory of the Lord. When you look into the glass, what do you see? What do you see? 
You see the image of yourself, right? You see me. You see me. You see who? No, it's me. Are you sure? You sure it's your image that you saw? And you believe that is your image and not mine? If you are going to be all God has called you to be, if you are going to experience the change that heaven wants you to experience, you have to be Hallelujah. You have to be faithful. You have to be faithful. Hallelujah. Faith believes the truth in all to disregard the fact. The fact is you have found yourself in the United States. The fact is they tell you it's hard there. They tell you there's a level to which you can go. But the Bible says, I know the thought. I think it was the thought of good and not of evil. To grant you what? Expectation. Another translation says to give you a future and a hope. Hallelujah. So your faith must be strong enough. Your faith must be resolute in God enough to disregard the facts around you. They are saying nobody is making it. What are you believing? Hallelujah. Faith believe that whatever God says is so. When everything around you is saying otherwise. Why? Because God's word is so. Faith is involved. Faith is involved. That is why we refer to him as the faithful one. For you to walk with God, you have to have to be But without faith, impossible. Your walk with God starts with faith. You must believe God enough. Him to disregard the facts around you. They say there is no money. What are you saying? They say there is a casting down. What are you saying? Hallelujah. They say there will be a tail. What are you saying? They say, some people are saying, we can't make it this hard. What are you saying? Whatever you say becomes your manifestation. Faith! Faith! Those who believe God trust in the Lord. We hold, we convey to those beyond the person of glass. Glory of God. Sometimes when you look into the glass, the glass shows you the kind of person you are. But when you, you know, sometimes when you leave the mirror, you forget easily. Listen to me, be a believer. Anytime you look into the world, and the word of God gives you a clarity, the person you are, you better be for. You better have to be. Hallelujah. But sometimes we forget. That you are a king, a priest of God. That you are here to reign, not to serve, not to be a slave. Hallelujah. Because God in all, believe him. Whatever he says, always come true. Number three. Is that number three? And we all with unveiled face, building us in a class. The glory of the Lord. He said, I have been changed from one level of glory to the other. You see, for you to experience the change that God wants you to experience, you need to be transformed. You must begin to think the way God is thinking. You must begin to see the way God is seeing. If God says, I will make way for you in the wilderness, don't doubt him. Hallelujah. If God says, now walk towards that wall, right? And he says, before you get to that wall, there will be a door. You better walk through. You better walk to the place. Don't think, ah, I will knock my head on it. You'll be shocked. By the time you get to that wall, you just see a door open. Whatever you imagine. Hallelujah. But is your mind transformed in all? Hallelujah. What is said, lawyer himself, must also be Must also from owning your own children. 
luta com os dois do Columbine, those who are practicing that they don't have sex with. What? They train their mind to believe the impossible. They are the undearable. And now they are coming. Listen to the people of God. The devil has moved the battle to, the, to our mind. That is why fight everything that limits God in your life. With all your heart. Hallelujah. With God on your side, it can be done. If you can see it, it can become it. That is why you need to renew your mind. That be ye transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. Your mind needs to be renewed. And how do you renew your mind? By hearing. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing the word of God. You see, the, the, the transformation doesn't come by just you hearing once. By you coming. Coming and coming and coming and hearing. This is the people of God. God wants your heart transformed. When you gave your life to Christ, what did he bring to you? Right? What did he bring? The old, just your spirit man that got born again. In order for you to experience God, your body, your soul, your spirit needs to become alive. That is why you need to begin to think the thought of God. You need to begin to see what God is saying. God said to, what's his name? Adam. He said, where are you? Not by location, but in the plan. God looked around. God couldn't see Adam where he has planted him. God was saying, where are you? Abraham said, I am Adam. said, I, I was afraid. He said, I was, he said, who told you? Hallelujah. What you hear has a way of shaping what you do. Hallelujah. What you think about has a way of shaping what you become. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Somebody said, you are not as you think you are, but as you think you are. Transformation. Say, I will, I will embrace transformation. Transformation is an experience that starts from within. When we embrace transformation, we are changed from one degree of devil to Transformation to us is like a butterfly going through its growth process. A butterfly is not beautiful until it goes through the process of transformation. Why going through it, you don't help it become. Otherwise, you kill it or before becoming it. When you help it in the process of struggling, you only help in truncating its destiny. It will die prematurely. Transformation may be a painful process, but it is vital process your journey to change. When you change your thought, change your Hallelujah. As a man thinketh in his heart, so and we all conveyed faith, the oldness in his past, the glory of God, are transformed from one level of glory to the Lastly, going to experience change. The Bible says, and this comes by the Spirit of the Lord. Need the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not just come. The Holy Spirit is the one that enhances your dignity down. The Holy Spirit is the beauty of Zion. Not the Holy Spirit of your parents. Hallelujah. You know, an encounter with the Holy Spirit can set you up for life. Just an instruction from him can bring about an end to years of pains and ache. Embrace the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is going to cost you, pay the price to make the Holy Spirit your greatest ally. Jesus Christ said, if it is plain for me to go, then but when I go, then do I but change is possible. Change only comes by the help of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says there, I said, even as by the Spirit of the Lord, man's effort to change has been and will always be utility without the help of the Holy Spirit. 
He is your help, the beauty, and the color of your destiny. He helps your weakness and infirmities. He is willing to help with your desired change if only we allow him today. Change is possible. It is now. Call on the Holy Spirit. He will help actualize the needed change. The truth is, you can break free from the habit that has held you captive. You can be free from oppression. And then can come to your long-term worries and anxiety. You can experience the long-desired change. It is now. It is this month. And it's going to come by the Spirit. Hallelujah. And we hope. Going to experience change, glorious change, to a person that is walking. But you can't walk your life in change. Hallelujah. If anyone offends you now, if you are here, somebody offends you and say, Yeah, it's when we get to heaven that we set it before. You better forget the bill, forgive now. Otherwise, you are not going to get to heaven. Hallelujah. Go, make love your precious love. Love your precious love. Love your Love your precious God. Hallelujah. You have found yourself here now. Love this glory of God. This is your family now. Pay the price in making sure that you don't live, you don't live it as you want. Number two, what? Sincere. You need to be sincere with one another. There's no point fanning your ego. There's no point telling you uh, what you want to hear. I better offend you than offending God. Hallelujah. Let's be sincere with one another. If you are not doing well, encourage me. And if I'm correcting you, don't see it as if maybe I'm around. Even God, that those who are loved by God, they chastise you. That is God, that's your father. He chastises. God still chastises us. He said, if God chastises you, you better be grateful. Why? Because you are still a son. Hallelujah. You all doing what? God is you have a father. Hallelujah. Embrace the truth. Make the truth. As you walk on this point, that thing that you desire coming to you. Just pray. I'd like you to just appreciate him for the word that has come to you. Give him honor, give him adoration. Is there any way you know these sweet thoughts are not your priority? I'd like you to ask for the Holy Spirit to help you to make love your focus. To be sincere with God and with yourself and with others. The grace to live a life of transformation. To have faith in God. Just talk to God. Talk to God. Let's go ahead. Let's talk to the Almighty God. The Spirit of genuine love. The grace to be sincere. Sincerity in every matter. Faith in God. And total transformation. And with the help of the Holy Spirit to cap it all. Let's talk to the Almighty God. So that all what we have had today will not be, will not condemn us on the last day, but will be highly commended. Let's talk to the Almighty God. That the Almighty God should help us to be doers, but not hearing, not hearers alone, deceiving ourselves. Let's talk to the Lord. Father, help me, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's commit the vessel that the Lord has used. Let's pray that the Almighty God 
will refill him, will repackage him, and will re-anoint him. Shall we pray in the mighty name of Jesus? That the grace for him to have genuine love, to be sincere also, to have faith that can move mountains, to be totally transformed, and to continue to wax in the Holy Spirit that the Lord will give to him. All of us together, let's pray that these words will not stand against us. Father, we thank you, we praise you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. A loud amen. amen. It's time for us to give unto the almighty God, the giver of life. The life we live is not our own. Somebody gave each and every one of us the life we are living. And there is nothing that can be too big to give to this God. Nothing can be too big. It is time for us to give out of what God has given to us back to him. And I want us to do it cheerfully. I told us, I shared with us last week that God loves a cheerful giver. He loves a cheerful, in fact, he's looking for those that we give cheerfully. So if, if, if you are giving and you are not giving cheerfully, he might not be acceptable. Make sure that you give and you give cheerfully. We are giving our tithes our tithe is the one-tenth of our income. Make sure you give the correct tithe so that things will not be tied for you. The Almighty God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. A few weeks ago, somebody was telling me with all the bills, how possible will it be for somebody to be doing it? Huh? But I said the Bible says it. He said, well, how many times was tithe mentioned in the New Testament. I said, even if it is only once, let us obey it. And he said, Old Testament is Old Testament. I said, you should not be carried away with the fake doctrines. So let us give our correct tithe so that things will not be tight. If you are paying less than what you pay or what you give to God, you are, you are changing yourself. Let's pay the correct height, base. And that the Bible says we should, it says we should try him if he will not open the windows of heaven. We should try him. Test, try God, try him. Let's package our tithes, our offerings, and let's give cheerfully. Even as the choristers will be leading us. All the glory must be to the Lord in thy end. The details of the church are on the screen. Glory must be to the Lord in thy Want to make transfer? Or if you are watching online. Everybody shout hallelujah. Let's give cheerfully, cheerfully. unto us to give our tithes. You have given us this principle so that things will not be tight for us. Father, we ask 
that you breathe on our tithes in Jesus' name. From this very moment, let the windows of heaven be opened unto us in Jesus' name. All our offerings, Father, we lift them unto your throne of grace. Father, please bless our offerings in Jesus' name. In return, Father, please bless us in Jesus' name. Each and every one of us, when this will be given by virtue of the new experience, the prosperity that is coming our ways, this will be the least that will be given in Jesus' name. We thank you, we glorify your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Those who, are, those who are just joining us, we have a welcoming party for you. Please, it's exclusively, uh, exclusively for <laughs> those who are just joining us. So, old timers, so don't show up. Oh. Hallelujah. Praise the name. Okay, you can come. So that it, it won't be them alone. And by the grace of God, please, you are free to invite your friend. Hallelujah. Why? Because there will be information that will pass across to them on that very day. And the Lord will strengthen us in Jesus' name. Has somebody been blessed today? Lift up your hands and give them. Shall we take this song? Father, take all glory, oh, unchangeable, unchangeable. Father, take all glory, unchangeable, unchangeable. Father, take all glory, oh, unchangeable, unchangeable. Father, take all glory, unchangeable, unchangeable. We give you glory, O unchangeable, unchangeable God. We give you honor, unchangeable, unchangeable Father, take all glory, O unchangeable, unchangeable God. Father, take all glory, unchangeable, unchangeable God. Brethren, I just want us to pray this singular prayer. In this week, you're going to pray that the Lord will cause you to experience peace all around you. Over your academics, over your loved ones, over your marriage, and over your finances. Shall we lift up our voices and pray unto God? Father, let me experience peace. Speak your peace into my situation. Let me experience peace. The peace of God that surpasses human understanding. Lord, grant unto me. Brother, it will trust you to know that everything, even the dead, really need peace. That is why they said, rest in peace for those that have even gone. Lord, cause me to experience your peace in all areas of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ.